What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The Sheriff's Office is radaring cars before and after school today. Morgan caught up with Officer McKay for more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Officer McKay and he's going to talk about the speed limits. So what is the speed limit in the parking lot and in the school zone? The speed limit is 10 miles per hour all in all parking lots around the school uh, and it is posted. Uh, I've noticed that most people are not driving 10 so please uh, be aware it is 10 and try to drive 10 when you're in the parking lot. Uh, the school zone is uh, actually on Rochester Road, and it is after school and before school, and it's on Northwest 50th, which is on the uh, north side of the high school, from about Haven Street just past uh, Rochester. It is 20 miles an hour uh, for about a 30-minute period after school and before school. So the Sh Shawnee County Sheriff's Office has been uh, running a lot of radar, and I, I, I've noticed they've pulled over quite a few people. Uh, so please pay attention to the sign. It is 20. We don't have flashing lights at our school zone here, and, and actually they're, they're, they're not mandatory for the flashing um, lights. It's, it's actually the sign that makes it a school zone. So just be aware of that. Uh, a school zone ticket is, is very expensive, uh, needless money that you'd have to pay. So please be aware. It is 20, and uh, try and drive that. Okay, and when will this be enforced? Actually, the school zones are enforced uh, every day. Uh, the parking lot, you know, I monitor it. Um, I don't have any radar equipment. However, I can get some, which uh, it might come to that at some point during the school year. And I can write tickets, too. So uh, please be aware of that. Also, reckless driving, I do look for that on the parking lot and um, can write tickets for that and, and have in the past. Okay. Thank you. Now back to Allie in the studio. Make sure and follow the speed limit. If you are interested in the Kansas City Art Institute, there will be a meeting during CALP in Mr. LaDuke's room. Speaking of art, next Tuesday is the first life drawing night. This will be held from 6 to 7.30. Dual credit students, your enrollment sheet is due today. Make sure and turn that in to Ms. Varner. In sports news, volleyball, soccer, and cross-country scrimmages are on Friday. Also on Friday, softball will have a meeting at 3.13 in room 902. If you want to go to Boston, New York City, or Italy, Mr. McAllister is planning a trip. The informational meeting will be Saturday at 6. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.